email out and watching my baby girl get some rest. Sweet girl, I love you. Good morning, y'all. Happy Monday and welcome back to another vlog. So, I am on my way right now to the Institute of Internal Auditors Super Conference and traffic is horrible. This area that is located in, which is in Addison, I used to have so many clients in this area and I remember having to do this commute like all the time um, when I was still in public accounting and y'all, I am so thankful that this is not my commute anymore because I could like literally pull my hair out. Just so you know, it's like literally at a snail's crawl, so I'm good vlogging at the moment. Anyways, I'm really excited though because I'll probably see some of my old colleagues, some people that I used to work with, some people who work in internal audit, previous clients, so super excited. It's always fun to catch up, so yeah. All right, I'm going to put you down because now I'm in, I can get moving. All right, y'all. No. So I am done with the super conference. I left, I wanted to run a couple of errands. I need to find like a bigger checked luggage bag. I feel like the one that I have is too small for like a two week <laughs> abroad trip. One, and secondly, I feel like the um, handle is kind of like wobbly. Either way, I need a bigger checked luggage bag. So I went over to TJ Maxx. I found one, but I'm not 100% sure it's really that much bigger than the one that I have. So I passed on it. It was $80 and it was by Kenneth Cole. And I guess I really want to get a brand that I know is going to be like good quality but then I'm like you know what it's just gonna get thrown around anyway so does it really matter anyways I'm kind of struggling with that right now y'all the Las Colinas area so I went on Yelp and was trying to you know decide on what I wanted to eat and this place called Halal Bites came up as like a high rating so I went and grabbed something from there and I've been so excited to give it a try my mom is helping with juicy because Mike is out of town this week I have a few bites at least before I head home because there's a lot of traffic in this area. This is what it looks like. Yum. Yes. Another beautiful sunset. Stunning. Having a girl's night. This is what we do when Mike's out of town. We <laughs> Do you party, Juicy? She's like, no. Juicy relaxes. Yeah. So I am now at TJ Maxx taking my lunch break, trying to find some. I'm actually looking for some luggage, but I didn't find anything I liked. Now I'm looking at decor. <laughs> All right, no luck there, y'all. Didn't see anything that I thought was worth the money. I think I found the one that I want, and it's on sale. Like literally, how cute is that? Totally my aesthetic, right? So cute. Girls hanging out, watching Housewives of Dallas. Hanging with my baby. Come here, give me a huggy. Can I have a hug? She knows when the camera's out, so I'm just gonna put y'all over here. For now, let's see. I mean, it is so shocking to me. I was sure I went with Brandy and Memphis to her family reunion. <laughs> sweetie pie. Sweetie pie. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, my love dog. My love dog. He's so cute. Yeah. He's so cute, man. I don't know what she's been doing, y'all, but she literally, I've been trying to go and getting in bed, but she wants to be down here at the door. You wanna be here at the door. I don't think he's gonna be here anytime soon, Juju. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, he's on his way. She misses her dada. She misses her dada. Don't worry, he's on his way, baby. 
She's searching for her grandma. She's searching for her dad. <laughs> Mama, it's just not enough tonight, huh? Good morning, y'all. Sorry for the crappy lighting. I'm in my kitchen, but it is now 7.20. I'm getting ready to go to work. Ugh, this is such bad lighting. I can't even. So this week has been pretty busy with work. Starting to get a lot more busy because we're in the middle. Like this is the time when we do controls testing and stuff like that. I feel like I say that all the time though. There's never really a slow time, I guess, for me thus far. So one day, one day there'll be slow time. Anyways, last night Mike came home uh, from his work trip. I'm always very thankful that he comes home on the Thursday night versus like staying the night and then coming back on Friday. So I always appreciate that. Um, Juicy was definitely feeling some kind of way yesterday. I was trying to get to bed like kind of early and she just kept sitting by the door and she didn't want to like go to bed. So I think she was over it too. She was like, no, he better come home tonight or I'm gonna be so pissed. Although she was giving him the cold shoulder and I kept telling her, stop being mean to your dada. Like he has to do that for work, girlfriend. He stopped by a Filipino store down where he was at and got me a bunch of yummy goodies. I'm so excited to try them all. Like I didn't grow up having all these different snacks and stuff like that. So I'm really, really excited <laughs> to give them a try. This is a mess. I'm gonna have to do some cleaning and picking up later today, but these are the things he got me. I'm gonna try that. This, more cracker nuts. Mungo, because I love Mungo. Of course, he got me some pulveron, which I love. It's ube. Favorite kind is the one that has like the little crispy rices in it, but they didn't have it at that store. So he got me these. So I'm going to just have a little bit of each, and then I'm going to take some to work with me on Monday. Ooh, that sounds good. Ooh. I bet you it has MSG in it. Yeah, there's a bunch of MSG in all of these, but... No, but that's okay. And then got me some patis. I've never seen this one. I've seen this brand before, but I don't think I've seen their fish sauce at the local stores that I go to. So excited about that. And then some banana sauce. I'm here eating my, you can't really tell, but it's kimchi jiga. Did I say that right? Kimchi jiga. I've been really liking it. There's this place called Namu in the DFW area. I'm here with my baby girl. I'm gonna be soaking up as much juju time as I possibly can, oh my goodness. Love you. Good morning, y'all. Happy Saturday. It is 7.15 in the morning. This past week, I have been getting up around six every day. I actually kind of like it. I usually get up at seven. Kind of nice, because I've been able to get stuff done. Since it's the weekend, um, I am just sitting here on the couch with Juicy. And this is one of my favorite um, parts of my weekend morning routine is just sitting, uh, cuddling with Juicy and having a cup of coffee. So I have my coffee here and then I got from Tuesday morning, it's like iridescent and pink. Anyways, in here I just have some puto seco. I, I don't know how to pronounce it. It's coconut milk biscuits from the Philippines. Cheers. wedding shoes versus an expensive wedding dress. My wedding dress was only 20 bucks, but I knew I wanted some really nice shoes so that I could use them again. Whereas like a wedding dress you only use once, you know what I mean? And then my purse is Rebecca Miko. So cute. I love you. It is Sunday night. Oh, to knock my water over. So as y'all may know, Sunday night means pizza night. <laughs> so I'm finishing up my dinner and we are watching the Red Sox beat the Dodgers. Win that World Series, yo. I just got my lashes refilled. Sorry, my skin's not doing that great right now, but that's okay. Ooh, nice and fluffy. And I'm here hanging out with GGB. Come here, baby. Hi, I love you. Oh, 
Come here, give me a huggy. As y'all know, I'm trying to get ready for our next trip to Europe. It's coming up here very, very soon. Let me just say, I'm very, very, very grateful for my job. I'm so grateful for the opportunity to travel the world and to have these experiences. So of course, I'm very thankful. I'm looking at the positive and overall, I'm very, very, very excited. But the thing that stresses me out or that I have anxiety about is whenever I have to leave Juicy for an extended amount of time. And I know like some people won't understand that, understand that because to some people she's just a dog, but for me, the little light of my life. I love her so much. She is like my child. She is my child. I consider her my daughter. You know, she's been in our life for 10 years. Being away from her and not either myself or Mike taking care of her and having to like rely on other people care for her, it, um, it stresses me out. Even though, you know, I know that the people who will be watching over her it's the best that we can do for her if it's not me or mike it's a dog resort trained professionals you know i don't want it to affect her health or anything like that because she is diabetic and she's had pancreatitis a couple of times she stayed with them many times and she's done fine i don't know if i told you all this or not but the last time we were out of town for boston they actually ended up missing one of her insulin injections and it was because um, what they told me was that, you know, they fed her and then you wait like a little bit of time, like 30 minutes usually until you give them the insulin shot. Well, some emergency happened where it was all hands on deck. And so by the time they were able to go and give her her insulin shot, it was already too late. And that evening we picked her up, they told me about it. And that evening she didn't really have an appetite obviously because her blood sugar was really high and you know, all the stress of, you know, being there and then coming home anyways. So she kind of had a, it was a little bit of a hard transition um, that evening, but the next morning, thankfully she was back to normal. Um, but that that's always very scary, you know what I mean? And that's it was upsetting, obviously, like you're paying for people to take, to do specific things, to take care of your child, and that doesn't happen. So that was really disappointing, but we really don't have many other options in our area, like for her to have her own suite, like her own room, for me to have, camera access to see her to have her in a place where it's like trained professionals like if I could find another spot like that getting her comfortable with that whole layout because she's used to it now over there um, all of those things are stuff that I consider anyways I'm going into a lot of detail that probably a lot of y'all don't care about this helps me a little bit because I get to vent that's the only thing but otherwise I'm super super excited and I'm ready for the next adventure if you're not already part of the insta fam go ahead and follow me at Steffi Mills if you want to see where I'm at and all the fun things that we're getting into can I please have a hug she knows the camera's out come here give me a hug I know even getting my lashes done I was like bye why do I have to spend any time away from my little love dog I love you so much and these are the best people to take care of you if it's not me or Dada, okay? And you love your friends. They love you. They'll take good care of you. They sure will. And Mama will be able to see you at all times. Yes, hun. Ready? Crazy right now. So well, I am off of work now. I'm looking like a total mess right now because I'm in my sweats. But I'm headed to get to see some insulin. Now I'm headed to pick us up some food for dinner. We got some Chinese food that I have to pick up. Anyways, today has really just been about me getting myself ready for this trip. This morning I had a doctor's appointment. I have my annual physical. Okay, guy, how freaking annoying. I'm gonna go this way. Okay, I will, I will chat with y'all in a little bit. Any tiny spots like, you know, everything's bigger in Texas except for this parking spot. I'm parking lot apparently. I literally look like I'm wearing a correctional uniform because I'm in like all gray and it's not cute. It's not like a chic all gray. We go outside, baby? Yeah. Yeah, that's what let me outside. Jumping. Finished showering and I wanted to grab y'all real quick because, hold on. I'm trying to be as efficient with my time as possible. You know, we all got 24 hours in a day. I got to use at least seven of those to sleep. So I got, how many hours is that? I got 17 hours to do stuff with. Minus two hours for traffic. That gives me 15 hours minus about nine hours at work. 
give or take, depending on the day. Whittling down how much time I got in a day, um, so I'm trying to be really good with it. One thing that I do is, as I'm like working at the house or something, I will have no copyright sounds playing in the background, and it's really hit or miss. Like finding the right music that I like, anyways, takes a while. And then when you find that song that you're just like, "Ooh, that sound! That song sounds real good." There's you see. I get so freaking excited. I'm trying to get as much content together so that when I'm over in Europe, I still have at least one video a week. I would actually really like to have my two uploads a week, but you know what, your girl's trying. I got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I got three days to figure this out, y'all. And I'm trying to spend as much time with my cutie as I can. Right? Do you know that, Juju? <laughs> I know, baby, there's a loud. Yum, 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 yum. Good job. I came back and Juicy was not in my food. What a good girl. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Thank you for being a good girl. Hey. Happy Tuesday. So I got home about 45 minutes ago. Let me turn this down. So Mike found out last night that he needs to go back down to Austin for work. So he is headed there now. He had a day here in town, then he had to go down there. Hopefully he'll be back home tomorrow night. Right, Juju? So I'm on the dot. Not that everyone wants to know that, but just saying. Wow. Look at how she's sitting. She like sits as like like human, and she's like, if I'm sitting like a human, I get something. Y'all see this? <laughs> you are so funny. I'm trying to treat myself because I'm not feeling that great. Like I was having the worst cramps, y'all. Like TMI time, guys. Just fast forward. 20 seconds like ever since I got off birth control my periods have been very uncomfortable like you know I had been on birth control for 10 years and I never got like cramps and they didn't last very long my cramps have been so freaking bad it's been like unbelievable so anyway today was like not a great day for that I you know anyways so I'm trying to treat myself juju no ma'am so I got some Italian food at a local place He wants that opportunity. Mmm. He can have it. I'm going to provide it for him. Mmm. Damn, it's good. We're over here in my dining room right now because I got a box from a company called Sight USA. I was so honored when Ellie reached out to me from Sight. So she actually is a viewer of my videos and she created this company for stylish but functional laptop bags for us ladies in the business world. She actually comes from a corporate accounting background that spoke volumes for me and who are like pursuing their dreams, which is very, very cool to me and so like inspiring. So she reached out to me and offered to send me one of her tote bags to give it a try, review it, see if I like it or not. I'm gonna do a full on review video but I felt like unboxing it with y'all just so I can share my like initial thoughts and then I'll talk more about it as I use it. I'm actually gonna be using this on my Amsterdam trip. Y'all know I love my Dagny Dover, but I do wanna look a little bit more elevated. That bag is a little bit more on the casual side. So Sight, they create their bags using vegan leathers. Anyways, she said, Dear Steffi, I just wanted to thank you for showing the society that a woman can be intelligent and beautiful at the same time. We need more women like you. Enjoy your trip to Europe. Thank you so much, Ellie, and that's very, very kind of you. Not, not to show people how intelligent and beautiful I am, but it's always been my goal to share content that I share on my YouTube channel because I more so just wanna like share with y'all like aspiring accountants or people who are in the same field as me or who don't do social media like as their career that, you know, like you can still have a meaningful life outside of your job and like your job isn't the only thing that defines you that you can you know you're you're like a diamond girlfriend you multifaceted so anyways ooh, i like that so here is the bag well the dust bag and it's made out of like a microfiber i'm listening for my water to fall and it says sight on there mm. okay first thing that i notice is that i don't smell like a 
faux leather smell. You know, there's some handbags that you get that are faux leather. Like for example, my Forever 21 backpack that I love. I used it on a lot of work trips for a long, long time, but it is faux leather and it had kind of like a plasticky smell. And this, this has like almost no smell to it. Like in the smell that it does have isn't that plasticky smell. I can't even explain what it smells like. I like, I'm very picky about scents. Okay, it has a little bit of it inside, but it's not like overpowering or overwhelming. It's, it's definitely a lot less than other faux leather bags that I've had and used before. Oh, that's kind of cool. Okay, hold on, my water's boiling. One second, sorry. So I just stopped to make myself some ginger lemon tea, which I will drink here shortly. It's kind of hot. I'm gonna drink it while I do my story time video, which I'm gonna be filming here very shortly. I'm trying to film as many videos as I can for um, when I'm in Europe and then also for Vlogmas, so that's why I'm kind of like filming as at every opportunity that I get. It does come with a strap as well. Oh, it's an adjustable strap, so that's cool. So this is actually in like the laptop pouch. There's a, oh, and it's padded. I'm excited to give it a go. Like it is going to be my Europe work bag, so I will for sure be putting it to the test. So thank you, Ellie, I really appreciate it. Some of y'all have asked me about like stylish laptop bags for work, so I will definitely review this for y'all and let y'all know what I think about it. Okay, let's go do our story time, okay? <laughs> 